Hiya fam, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. Uh, what is this today, Dan? What are we watching? We're watching The Raid Redemption. The Raid Redemption, okay. Another Asian film. Indonesian, I think. I hear the fight scenes in this are pretty brutal. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Let's go check it out. Cheers to you fam, enjoy. <laughs> and staying in shape, I'll give him that. Exactly. Stuff like that actually makes me want to create good habits for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Holy crap. Well, he got some speed. Now he's a master at his craft, didn't he? Well, he's a cop. I like him already. It's a family man. Yeah, a dedicated family man. What is it, like 5 o'clock in the morning? Either that or he works a night shift. Target kita tamar, Yadi. Semua penjahat di kota ini menganggap dia sebagai legenda dunia hitam. Selama 10 tahun terakhir ini, markasnya menjadi zona bebas polisi. Holy shit. Karena sekarang dia berani-beraninya menyewakan kamar-kamar di gedung apartemennya. Kita masuk, tangkap dan seret dia keluar. Yeah! I'm sure it's not that simple. Is that the same dude from John Wick? Yeah. the same guy from John Wick. <laughs> Clearly the crime boss here. Was his name Tama? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh jeez. What? Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Tunggu sebentar. I can see why everybody's afraid of this guy. He's nuts. Oh, oh no. hell no. This is not going to be pretty. No. Oh, cool, stop the thing. At least they didn't show it. Woo! Kenapa kita? Kenapa hari ini? Kenapa enggak? Itu pertanyaan yang sah. Sama sahnya dengan jawaban gua. It's okay to ask questions. Berulang kali Rival Tama mencoba merebut tempat itu. Tapi selalu gagal. Maybe y'all should bring more guys. I'm thinking like a few trucks of this would benefit you right now. Yeah, they probably have military tech with them. Black market shit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Why are you the only one not in tactical gear? Probably because he's running this operation from a nice safe distance. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> no, he's not. Dude's okay, ne never mind. Dude's running second with no helmet. <laughs> There's a big building. There could be dudes on every floor. Starting to feel like a dread. dread. Yeah. yeah. This is intense already. That dude has an axe on his back. We well, can't wait to see that in action. Yeah, right. There's a sentry. Good thing he's not paying attention. Holy shit. Oh, I think he just broke his neck. Dude, they're silent. It's crazy. Are you just a regular guy? I doubt it. There's something suspicious about this guy. Not the time to trust people. You better keep those keys. This place isn't very pretty on the inside, is it? This is just an apartment building. It's a slum. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> I'm sure that felt good on his back. Yeah, right? <laughs> Crackhead here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. God. It's fucking gross. They did say he rented the place out to low life, so. Yeah. Well, at least somebody in this building is potty trained. <laughs> and it's a child. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh shit. For God's sake. Is he gonna take this shot? He's got a silenced weapon. <laughs> too late. Ooh. Oh. Got him though. Yeah, you're right. You're too late. Now the building knows. <laughs> but he's frozen. Oh Not God. Anymore. Hey! What is he? Oh no. Now he's just lured, lured the whole building. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, they control this building. They are the Ma Ma clan here. This is dread. It really is. He's bringing in snipers mm. from other buildings, obviously. That's a scary thought. Oh, he's making a trap out of it. Oh, yep. I feel right for it, too. Uh-oh. 
Oh, Jesus. Why would you take your eyes off your prisoner? They probably weren't worried about him. They are now. Oh, no. Oh, God. He's got a machete under there. There's weapons everywhere. Good God. <laughs> oh, man. You know that head came off. Things are about to get bad. <laughs> They're gonna die. Yep, yep. Oh. Y'all just sitting ducks. This is getting really bad for him. I think he got him. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, my God. Why didn't you pull? They're not pulling the triggers. Are they all? Is that how green these guys are? The lieutenant said he was afraid of that. Yeah. Yeah. Threaten all of them. Oh, yeah. Just like Dread. Yep. I think Dread took a lot of inspiration from this movie. You can see it. My God. That couldn't be more obvious. No. Siapa saja yang tahu kita di sini? Kita sendiri. Mm. You really need some backup. Oh, they're up there. Those lights come on, you guys are in big trouble. Oh, yeah. Now they can see you. They see your... Yeah, they know how many of you are. Oh, shit. Jesus. You just mowed him down. All right, there you go. You needed to get one of them at least. They he didn't even go down. down. Good lord. Nugila, ya. Ini urusan gua. Kalau baking yang datang gimana? Nobody knows it. Yeah. Enggak akan ada bantuan. Enggak ada bedanya dengan usaha take over yang sudah sudah. That's pretty bad. No, for real. Bang satu ini berani betul dia masuk di kerajaan gua. Now I don't trust him. Was this person up with the lieutenant? Or does the lieutenant work for somebody else? It's that I'm thinking one of those two, you know? Is he finally gonna go finally down? Get one? Jesus. They didn't care. Four more just pop up, yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Actually that worked out. Oh for God's sake. Yep, the snipers are still there. Point in the floor? I think so. That sounds hollow. They actually really coming in handy. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, they ain't playing around. No. Y'all are about this close. Alright, well they made it through. They... Oh, oh shit! No. Get down there and help him! Bring that axe. Yeah, this is close quarters. At least these guys aren't armed. He does have that axe! Oh! It was less effective than I thought it would be. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, my god. Just execute that guy. This movie's nuts. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no way to use that to your advantage. Keep doing that. Oh my god, there you go. Now you're starting to get some payback here. Now the hallways are working in your favor. I'm surprised they're not shooting from down below. Yep, there they are. Oh god. That's what you gotta do right there. And this is a horrible day for them. Blow some shit up. Hey, why not? If want oh, it. wait, wait, yeah. Put that against the door. Oh, no. If they shoot it, they blow themselves up. Holy shit. <laughs> well. Seberapa parah? Sekitar 30 orang yang ngontrak mati berantakan. Ambil barangnya. Kebayar. Still sitting here doing business. There's I mean, a gunfight going on in your building. Oh, my God. This guy's all burnt. Yeah, yeah, he is. It's a brutal movie. It really is. What? I should get another resident? What was that for? Making sure nobody can talk? Or are they here to clean out the rooms? How many of y'all are left? There's probably about four or five of them. They went in there with nothing to begin with. Or do you get going back upstairs? Well, they know you're there, so I right. guess go where go where they're not coming. Well, there's the lieutenant. There's a power struggle there between those two. Clearly. They're split up. Actually, it's probably for the best at the moment. Divide and conquer. Yeah. These guys will be trying to unnerve them. These guys scare me. Scare me too. Yeah. They don't even have guns. I'm afraid to be near these guys. Holy shit! Good lord. There you oh! Go. oh! Jesus. Just cut that guy's leg all the yeah. way up. He's got, he's got good moves. Oh! Good lord. Oh my god. He's awesome.
Jesus. He is so impressive. This is a rookie? I don't think he's a rookie. Oh, oh man. Damn. Meanwhile, this guy's growing. <laughs> you better get you a kill. He's still trying. There you go. Damn. Good lord. He just mowed down the whole floor. With a knife and a baton. Yeah. And he's still at it. Respect. <laughs> Damn. Good lord. All the way down. <laughs> well, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the help, buddy. <laughs> that was straight awesome. That was. Like, it took no effort whatsoever. The fuck's your problem, dude? Don't even try it. I'm gonna make you eat that. Oh. oh. God. Right in the neck. This is your kind of movie, Joe. No, it's not. I mean, yes, it is, but it's not. <laughs> no, this guy actually has a wife. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. Didn't this happen to Dread, too? Yeah. They were trying to get in somebody's apartment? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna look this up because I think there's got to be no question it was. It, there's way too much similarity. Yes, he has an escape uh, escape hole there or a hiding space. That's a bit fishy, unless all these apartments are like that. Right. Oh man, that's a dangerous place to be too. Oh my God, yo yo yo, don't do that. He seems so crazy. The intensity in his eyes. Yes. Yeah. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh god. That's not good. No, oh, my god. That's fucking scary. He's just working his way down the wall. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. God, got him in the face. Jesus. It's oh god, it's still, still in him. Oh god. As soon as he pulls it out there, he's gonna see the blood. Right? Unless he cleans the blade. He's against the wall. It's not oh. like he has room to move. Oh, he's gonna feel that come out, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's tough as nails. That's messing with my head. Oh, don't grip the blade. It's gonna be even worse if he does that. <laughs> he pulls it out. Let go of it. Oh god. Let go. Oh! Oh, he cleaned it with his glove. Oh, clever. The glove must have Kevlar in it or something. What do you do with a knife? Oh. Oh, it's in his liver. I didn't realize he'd been shot down there. He brought him a butter knife? Butter <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, that's it's even worse. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> uh. oh, it has to be done. And nobody's going to hear that, huh? How many people are screaming in bloody agony in this building right now? What the hell? Is he about to kill those guys? Oh, good lord. What the actual F? So he is working with the police. Or he's got his own agenda. Hostile takeover from within? Look at that. They're getting rid of the evidence in front of him. Get all the bodies out there. They're their guns now. <laughs> Jesus. You can spot a dirty cop a mile away. I'm sure they all can. Oh, yeah. Jagan dia. Saya akan balik secepatnya. Say, you're quicker on your own. Yeah. At this point, the other guy's a liability. Who's screaming? I don't know. But it, I, but it probably ma uh, muffled the screaming of your one your own guy. Uh oh! Holy shit! Oh, they're messing. They torturing oh. this guy? Yeah, they were. Hit him upside down. I saw him. Uh, you better hurry up. This is taking too long. Yeah. There you go. That's what you needed to do. Oh, oh God! Jesus! Jesus. These guys need to die. Oh, you want a piece of them? Come get it. Right, I'll take you one on one. That's fine. Oh, you're in that hallway. You should have grabbed one of your knives. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Damn! Jeez. He is so effective. The choreography in this is amazing. So fast, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Huh? You better move. There you go. 
Damn, look at him. He's got a machete now. It's a practical sword play. Oh! Oh, God. Try to get him in close with the less effective. God. My anxiety Ooh. right now. Oh, my God! Oh, 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 man. That was crazy. Jesus! Killed him on a broken door. That's insane. Learn when to quit. Now turn the stove on. There you go. Whoa! Oh. Ah. Well, he extra killed that guy. Oh my god, the way he screams is nuts. Oh! Jeez. Oh! Oh! This fight is insane. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Kick him out that freaking window. Oh! You jumped out with him? Oh no. Oh yeah, now you're in the open. <laughs> <laughs> you still need to do drugs. <laughs> oh, there's, it's, it's another flop house. Mm -hmm. They have no idea what's happening in this place. So drugged out. They better give this guy the freaking promotion after this. Probably got a concussion after that fall. And he's still rolling though, man. Just take a minute. Get your bearings. It's gonna take him a minute to get to you. I about to say, I think you've earned a minute. Did he handle business back there? Or what? I don't know what I expected from this movie. I certainly wouldn't all this. It's living up to the brutality that we heard about. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, oh it's, it's the other guy. Oh, okay. He's just really mad, man. Jeez. If you're lucky. Yeah, you won't live to get that second chance. Yeah. Oh, they were waiting. Oh, he'd probably handle them all too by himself. Uh, gun beats knife. Yeah. Oh no, he's gonna run. He's gonna leave him. Do you want to dirty the hallway? <laughs> what does it matter at this point? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, you just want to kill him slowly. Oh. So you want a manly oh, type. Bite. We already know what he can do. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Given this cop all he can handle, though. In return, the cop has given him too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. These are devastating moves. Mm. Oh, that had to break a nose. You know it. Oh, oh, mm. oh no, he's got him. You're gonna snap his neck to the bitter end. No. Damn, this is a really intense fight. Was that the guy he was looking for? I guess so. Yeah. Maybe they're actually brothers. What we're about this evening? Gua nggak akan balik ke gua. Well, then you're gonna die in this building. Yeah, this life will kill him for sure. Bentar lagi lo jadi om, laki-laki, dua bulan lagi. And we don't want you around him if you choose this life for obvious reasons. Yeah. Gua bilang kayak gini karena lo abang gua. Lo milih tinggal di sini, ha? Lo umpanin nyawa lo. Ya udah, lo ganti baju dulu lah sebelum lo pergi. Ini nggak apa-apa. Ini pas sama gua. Dude, Rama's awesome, man. I can't believe how effective he is as a rookie cop. His hand-to-hand -hand skills are perfect for this enclosed Gee, space. Are they not for real? So just dragging the other guy? Why? I don't know. Oh, he woke mana tuh? Boss. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> bukan itu orangnya. Neran, bukan itu orangnya. Punya tetap gua bawa. Yeah, she's like a mad dog, just bringing dead stuff to his owner. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I thought we were about to start another one right there. You called it. So far as only accolade is killing a child. That ain't much. What? What? Like, is she have them on camera? Did he see him? Oh! 
You're done. Yeah, you should have known he'd see you all down there. Siapa anjing yang ngobrak ngabrik lu? Terus gua pengen tahu reaksinya kalau lu gua gorok di depan dia. You're gonna get your brother killed if you say something. Right. There's a slow mo factory in there. <laughs> Look at that. When are they gonna send in the other crooked cops? Mm. Oh shit! Well, he's already there. He's in the back. Yeah, right. <laughs> Everybody in this building is a martial artist. I say, where are they learning this at? I don't know. Oh! Oh! Incredible! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they oh my god. The night for a minute. Yeah. You stupid asshole. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? He had the high ground. It doesn't work against a Jedi. <laughs> oh, no, got the knife oh no! Stop it! Stop! <laughs> Everything is next up in this movie. I mean, <laughs> God's sake. Well, it worked out. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Ooh, a slip and slide. I don't know if you want to slide around in that stuff. They didn't mind. <laughs> oh. The amount of fighters in this place is incredible. Everybody can fight. Yes. Oh no, he knows it. Yep. That's a crazy door to be in that building, but I'm not surprised. Yep. You know he's enjoying this. No, he is. And now this is a boss fight. Personal for a number of reasons now. Killed his leader, trying to kill his brother. Yeah, go ahead, he's in the way. I appreciate his patience to have a safe space to fight. The man is an artist. Yeah. The only way to fight is to do it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, you over there. Oh, he wants to take on take on both? Oh my god. This is a bad idea. <laughs> He's crazy enough to enjoy this, though. Damn. Jesus. Oh my god. He's very capable. The other guy's been beaten to a pulp, so he's not much help, you know? No, but it's still... Somebody else to take the... Yeah, somebody to take the punishment and also to keep the distraction, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, oh he did. Good. What's I think happening? there's a quieter way to do that. Just barge in? No, not at all. I freaking knew it! Scott, mm. He's just in it for the money. No wonder he's been running away all this time. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mad Dog is awesome, man. He's something else. Say they didn't do him justice in John Wick. Yeah, bro. He wouldn't quite like this. Yeah. Both brothers can fight really well. Must be a family thing. Yeah. Oh, oh. nice. Nice move. Damn. Teamwork, there you go. Yeah. I'm about to say, they're not getting a chance to work as a team. <laughs> Every time they try, he just finishes. Ooh, Ooh. Does something like that. You know, somebody stabbed him in the neck. I imagine they're all getting tired. They gotta be. But there's still two of you and only one of him. Now this is disappointing on the cop's part. See, I think he's getting the upper hand. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Nah, but man, he's a freaking beast. Oh no. You got a knife, this would be a good time to use it. Right now, yes. Or shard of glass, something. Yep. Get up! <laughs> Maybe just a little bit faster here. Oh! Well, I called that, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Oh, oh, oh! Hit that shard! This fight scene is ridiculous! <laughs> it's bleeding out of the tube now! Yeah, I see it! Oh! Oh! Oh. oh! Jesus. Woo! That took way too much effort. Way too much. How's your face not bloody to a pulp after all those times you slammed your hand? Both the of them. If he gets up, I swear oh, to God. God. <laughs> what the hell? Dia kurang tangkap. Bosan, anjing! Lo pikir gampang masuk ke sini tanpa ketahuan? Lo sengaja nunggu lo datang. Semua juga nunggu. Sayang tidak berhasil. See, all you guys are dead. Yeah, for real. Lu nggak tahu kalau lu udah mati. Mati setelah Reza telepon gua. 
Oh. Reza dan teman-teman yang berdas itu nggak pernah bilang nggak ke gua apa yang harus gua bayar dan berapa. Oh ya, told you ten steps ahead. Mm-hmm. Tapi lu dikirim buat mampus mati. Mm. Damn. Lu bakalan dikejar peluru nyasar. Lu nggak bisa tidur lu. Damn. She's you got a good point. You just ruined this entire operation. Probably cost them millions of dollars. Pretty much. Just don't matter now. Not if what are you saying is true. <laughs> you do realize the guy could have been bluffing, right? He may be out of bullets. Oh. No, he was. Good news, you get to go to jail. You get to know what a pillow in the face feels like. Silakan kembali ke kamar masing-masing. Semua sudah selesai. They're all dead. Dia udah tahu suatu saat nanti akan ada orang yang jatuhin dia. Ini kuncinya. Ini akan nunjukin siapa aja masuk dalam daftar hitam. Gak semua orang yang lu kenal itu busuk, Ram. Huh. I'm glad you made it too, man. Just a regular dude. So is Andy in charge now? Uh, <laughs> Oh, he, that's right. He was still yeah, alive. Yeah. yeah. He's been down in the room. Forgot for about him altogether. Dan mereka akan hancurin di tempat. Kita sudah menghilang. Begitu mereka sampai. Sure Terus that. ngapain tinggal? Sama alasan yang kenapa lu pakai tusur aku. Karena pas. Yeah. Because he's good at it. Just go in your separate ways. Yep. They are who they're meant to be. I'm glad you had enough love for your brother not to let him get killed, though. He got close there. Yeah. He got very close. Just like that, huh? Awesome. I'm kind of speechless right now. Yeah, me too. Okay, so just wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, the fight choreography was so intense in that movie. Oh my god. The camera never came off of Mad Dog and the two brothers fights fight there. No. They just kept going. It's like they had energizer batteries. It just kept going and going. I couldn't freaking believe, like, where does all that stamina come from? And that was choreographed. But you, you could see them, too, getting tired there at the end. Like, you could tell they were wearing down. Extremely realistic and so brutal, too. Yes. Yeah. Everybody in this movie did a masterful job. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't big on acting, and it didn't have to be. Because mm -hmm. it needed to just tell the story it was telling. Right. So, but they used the action to tell the story, which is something that's difficult to do nowadays. But these guys did it. You saw what you needed to see pretty much for that. Exactly. The story was you know, not overly complicated. You had just enough dialogue to understand what was going on, and then other than that, it was just fights. Exactly. And of course, it did remind us a hell of a lot of a movie that we have watched on this channel, Dread. Yeah. There's no way that's coincidence. Can't be. The There's whole... no way. Let's look this up. The right. whole concept of police entering an apartment building run by drug dealers yeah. Getting stuck in there, having crypt cops helping them. There's a drug manufacturing floor, or level. The whole building on the inside of both movies is an atrium. Yeah. They get locked in there, and basically they have to fight their way out by, by the entire building run by the gang. They get threatened with their lives by the person up top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they might they might have ended differently. That is what it is. You'd have a hard time convincing me that the, those two did not inspire one another in, in some way. Let's look this up. Okay, fam, so we just typed in, was Dread inspired by the raid? It says, no, it wasn't a ripoff. Rather, just one hell of a coincidence bullshit. <laughs> That's not believable at all. Plot idea, the hero being trapped in a building. Single location is not the original. Watch both movies, fam. You tell me that, that there was no inspiration there. Granted, the basic concept is not the most original thing in the world, but the way that, that story played out, it, it's far too coincidental. Like, yeah, there are differences, but I mean, there's no way it's a, there's no way it can't be. Dread is the raid in a dystopian comic book setting. Yeah, but I mean, Olivia Thurby's character, um, God, what the heck was her, what's was her name? Anderson, wasn't it? Was it Anderson? Judge yep, Anderson. Judge Anderson. Yeah. yeah, she was a rookie. Mm -hmm. The main character in this was a rookie, and so were a lot of the other cops. Although in this case, the rookie was the strong one, not not the lead she had her strength she had her uses yeah but you could tell she was green at certain times certainly well, well actually to be fair so was he yeah because early on he ended up getting them in trouble because he kept trying to deal nicely with the tenants and then the tenants ended up coming back to kill him yeah and, the, and also like speaking of the tenants like that point when they had to get inside of an apartment mm -hmm. is another clue that that there was a this was based off of the raid because they had to get into the apartment in 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 dread as well yeah it's like there's they, they got to the top and found the top dog up there mm -hmm. like they did in dread there uh, were dirty cops like there were in dread like plot wise 90 percent of this movie was just dread 
there's no way you're going to convince anybody that's a coincidence. Yeah. Not a chance. They, not a chance. I don't mind Dredd being based off of that, though. Yeah. Because Dredd's a comic book character. Right. With their own stories, and I, it's believable that they're dealing with what they're dealing with. And it's a good story, too. You know, you, you do want to see your main characters in a dangerous situation like yes. this. Yes. But to be fair, I think the Raid did it better, also. The Raid's the original. So, yeah. The original or not, I think it did it better. I think you're right. They did an amazing job, and they were used, and they were doing it without guns most of the, a lot of the time. Yeah, I made the point in Rush Hour that you know one of the things that makes Jackie Chan fight scenes so great is how fast paced they are. Yeah, this was probably faster. This was ridiculous fast, like the amount of machetes that were flying at people. Steph crazy. Did, you see Seth missing by like literally a hair's width. Or it's like, how do you think up imaginative ways to kill somebody the way you do in that split second? Like he brought that guy down on the on the broken door right incredible and it's just the sheer brutality of the way they kill everybody he was constantly slicing the neck stabbing them in the neck breaking their back it's not like they didn't just shoot people in the head i mean they did that a few times but right. most people who die they die from like horrible injuries horrible, horrible deaths yeah and it's like i don't think it was a ripoff by any means it feels like watching the raid now when i think about dread or think or when i watch the raid i i think about dread the whole way yeah it's incredible like that was in my mind right from the beginning almost mm-hmm so, or at least at least once they got into that building. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. I love this movie. This was awesome. It was a fun movie all the way through. Like, there was not a slow point in that movie at all. No. Like, even the intro, he, you see him working out, and then they just quickly get right into the action. There's no big squad meeting or nothing. It's just like, as soon as he leaves the house, he's in a SWAT van going on the, on the mission. Exactly. Does a little workout. You meet his wife for all of 30 seconds. Yeah. You see Dad there, but then you don't see any of them again, except mm -hmm. for like a little inspiration to keep moving. Right. But that was it. After that, it's like, yeah, this is just another mission out in the world, mm -hmm. just like in Dread. It's like they they can respond to what six percent of all the incidences in a mega city. Yeah. Yeah. This is just another one of their missions. This is just the the big one that they were dealing with at the time. Yeah. Next time it'll be even bigger, and there is a sequel. Let's hope that one's not based on, you know, a sequel and Dr <laughs> coming for Dread. It's based on the original Judge Dread. Dread is set to get a series, which we'll be looking forward, for, forward to on this show. It'll be interesting to see what they do with it. I think so. But uh, going back to the raid here, so the one thing that was bothering me the whole time is the fact that they knew the lieutenant there was corrupt. Like, they figured that out pretty early on in the film. You think it was wise and they keep dragging him along? Well, I don't know, but I mean, if you're going to be good police officers, you can't just cut your losses with them. You have to, I suppose you could just cut him loose. I mean, couldn't you but, just like cuff him to an apartment somewhere and leave him? And then those guys with machetes come down and just like... I mean, hey, if they do it, that's on them. I don't know, man. I'm sitting there thinking that, you know, that one cop at the end who he ended up shooting once they got to the head honcho, that was an unnecessary death. You knew this guy was corrupt, if you, yet you left him alone with another officer in a situation where he could potentially exploit the situation. I think you're right, but if you're going to be good police officers, you can't be you can't be like that. Probably cuffing would have been the best thing to do. Rendering unconscious, taping down, uh, hiding him, hiding from uh, all the chaos, mm -hmm. and then dealing with him later. They ended up getting him out, but he cost you a lot of lives at this, in the same process. So there's a line there that you're pushing, kind of with with that one, and I just don't know what to do well, about it. You know, I'm not saying you have to kill the guy necessarily. I'm just saying it was a bad idea. Well, I'm not. I mean, I'm not advocating. Off. I see what you're saying, and I'm yeah. not advocating for a killing. But it's like it's still an interesting line to cross there because, like, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You know. It's one of those scenarios where, now that you've seen it, I guess the question is, how would they do it differently if it happened next time? Right. Or what would they do? How would would they be able to sniff them out fa uh, faster than they did the second, the first time? Well, that's the thing. They, so that they don't have to deal with it? They were onto him relatively quick, but they just kept ignoring it because they were trying to deal with the more immediate problem of the guys in the building. Well, yeah, I mean, the fact that he didn't have backup for him should have been all the information you needed to not go in there. Right in the first place it's like no you're walking into a trap you're all you're you're on your own but i don't think they worried about that ahead of time that it, it wasn't an issue until they got in the building and realized oh crap we're under we're under fire yeah well they weren't led by a rookie but they had a lot of rookies with them yeah but what's well, a risky run though i mean so decisions got to be made sometimes mm -hmm. i just think you're right though that was probably a, that was a really bad decision but it made for a good movie but they lost a lot of lives for a bad decision so. yeah yeah all those young officers aren't gonna be coming home no Good point. Yeah. Good qu Good question there. I, I don't know how to answer it. It's definitely a moral issue because I can kind of see why you would want to drag him along and say, hey, if we're going to be in danger, you're going to be in danger with us. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he's a liability because you know he could turn on you at any moment. No, that's true. 
you let us know, fam. What would you have done if you if you knew like the, like they knew? What would you have done about the corrupt officer there? So love to hear your thoughts on that. And uh, if you want to watch Dread, we'll leave a link at the end of this video for you to watch it too. And I'll probably card it all over the video for you too. Mm. You go and tell us this movie ain't based on the Dread ain't based on that. <laughs> yeah, but we have a we have a reaction out there for you guys for that movie already. So. Uh, folks, if you want to watch this, it's currently on Netflix along with its sequel. We at some point will get to that sequel, but it's probably not going to be till next year, so bear with us, guys. But I highly anticipate it after this one. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it now. That was This movie was incredible, so yeah. by all means, go watch The Raid and get ready for it, guys. I'm, I was really pleased with this movie. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, all the way, if you have a thumb left at the end of this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so If you don't, whatever opinion you have. If you've, if you've got a hand, yeah. <laughs> but as always, folks, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. And be sure to leave a like and hit the bell so you can receive notifications for whenever we drop our next video. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, please do so in the comments, guys. Also, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. We've dropped a whole bunch of new stuff on there, so by all means, go check out and see what we've been up to, guys. But until next time, this has been Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. <laughs>